today I'm going to give you the summary of Judith Macknott's book entitled Perfect. The novel begins presenting an 18 year old Zach Benedict being cut off from his luxurious life by his grandmother teaching a lesson of self-reliance. Eventually, Zach has embarked a journey in show business and gained prominence as an actor turned film director. Rachel Evans, whom Zach married, has exploited an opportunity of their unison for fame in the same industry. She therefore denies him children in which he was deceived beforehand, dooming Zach's familial intentions. Another protagonist in the novel, Judy Matheson, was once a ruthless, streetwise rascal child, has been adopted by the Matheson family, in which her upright values are formed, as she was raised where love blossoms abundantly, which she never had. Julie has fashioned a perfect life in their town as a teacher to disabled children and illiterate women. Zach, who happens to be directing a film, Destiny, starring his wife Rachel, learns that she cheated on him with her co-actor Austin. <coughs> Enraged, he cursed them atrociously, yet he has to finish the film before its screen appearance deadline. In a scene wherein Zach, who also is one of the casts, has to shoot Austin, but as a director, he changed his mind by having Rachel dead instead to make it more appealing and dramatic to the audience. This is the part where an awful, evil plan is lurking to happen, as it turns out that the gun that Zack fires to Rachel contains real bullets, which caused her to die instantly. With no trace of other suspicious intent, the witnesses of that film were deluded to believe that Zack is the only person liable to the death of his wife. It was known to the casts of the film that Zack wrecked havoc the night before the incident in the room where he found Rachel and Austin together, which makes the suspicions undoubtedly put the blame towards him. In a while, police officers intruded in the case, sentencing Zach to 45 years of imprisonment for a murderous crime he never caused. However, after five years in prison, Zach is shattered within tremendously and realizes that he will become insane, so he cleverly plans to escape with the aid of his fellow prisoner. The vivacious Julie Matheson traveled to Texas to meet a prospect sponsor for the literacy program she runs. After she successfully gets the check, she stays in the coffee shop to get warm as the snow persistently oozes outside. Zach, on the other hand, deludes the officers by offering Julie Matheson to arrange her tires after she gets out and gives him a bargain by offering him a ride. Armed with a gun, Zach obliges Julie to stray the cars until they can get rid from the authorities following them. Frustrated, Julie concedes to drive him to the Colorado mountains where she was demanded to stay. As the day passes, they get to know each other and later fall in love 
unexpectedly. Jack finally releases her to reunite with her family while he remains to accomplish his plans to justify his innocence. Romance and passion between the pair get stronger than they actually realized. Zack hatches a plan that they will live together away from the people and start a family and also get married. Nevertheless, Judy fell into the trap of disillusionment after knowing that he murdered his brother and killed Austin, which later on found misconstrued. Bewildered, Judy agrees to meet him in the airport with Paul and Ted so the authorities could easily catch him. A series of events happened and Zach was freed from the criminal charge after the real murderer of his late wife was unveiled. In his fury, Zach envies Judy by lavish parties which she was never invited to. Matt and Meredith Ferros gave Zach a copy of an amateur videotape where Judy was filmed crying hysterically, which touches Zach's heart and guilt. The two forgave each other and realized that their love for each other is genuine, realizing that even at Zach's lowest point in life, Julie risks accepting and loving him in his dangerous situation. Later on, Zach marries her and lives happily with their newborn baby boy. So that is the exact summary of Judith McNaught's book entitled Perfect. Thank you.